In order to download the Solash shader in Minecraft, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment. And it is going to bring you to a page that looks like this, where it will provide you with all of the necessary files and tools that you will need in order to install it. So step number one is to install a shader loader. And for this tutorial, we're going to be using the Iris shader loader, which is required. So what you want to do is you want to scroll down until you see step number one and underneath step number one, you should see this link right over here that says irishshaders.dev and all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on it. From here, please go ahead and press on download now, then go ahead and press on download universal jar. So regardless of what type of shader we're going to be installing, we need a shader loader, which is why we're going to go ahead and download the Irish shader loader. Anyways, once you're done with that, you will now notice that we have the file installed right over here. For clarity purposes, I always recommend dragging and dropping your shader to your desktop right over here. It will just make the process significantly easier. Afterwards, return back over to the website and the next thing we need to do is we need to install the Solash shader itself. So underneath step number two, it is going to provide you with the direct download. All you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on that just like so. Then go ahead and select on files right over here. And now what you want to do is you want to look for the version of Solash shader that is compatible with your game version. So just make sure that whatever shader you're downloading, that it does work for the version of Minecraft you're trying to play on. Now for this video, we're going to be working with Minecraft 1.21.11. So this one right over here does work. As you're able to tell, it is underneath the game version section. And all you want to do in order to install it is press on these three dots, then go ahead and press on download file. From here, wait five seconds. Now, while we're waiting for that, let me tell you guys about Simple Game Hosting. Simple Game Hosting offers affordable and high quality Minecraft server hosting where you're easily able to create a 24 seven unlimited slot server for you and all of your friends. The best part about Simple Game Hosting is that you're able to customize every single aspect of your server. You can make it Java only, Bedrock only, crossplay, include mods, mod packs, and plugins all with a click of a single button. There's dozens of video tutorials and 24 seven live customer support. And from personal experience, playing Minecraft with your friends creates everlasting memories and if that's something you're interested in feel free to check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment all right guys that's enough yapping out of me so what i recommend that you guys do from here is drag and drop the solash shader file to your desktop just like so and then afterwards what you want to do is you want to return back over to the website and the next thing we need to do is we need to install java if you haven't already so Java is essential for basically anything modded Minecraft related, whether you're trying to install Optifine, mods, shaders, you're going to need to have Java installed. So already step number three, you're going to see this link right over here. So please go ahead and press on it just like so. And just double check that JDK 21 is selected. Then from here, please go ahead and select on your operating system. So you can download Java regardless of whether you're on a Linux, Mac OS, or on a Windows. So me personally, I'm on a Windows, so I will go ahead and select on this. Then I would install the X64 installer right over here. From there, it is going to walk you through the entire setup wizard. And basically, it really shouldn't take that long. However, you may need to restart your device in order for Java to be applied. So please be prepared to do that. Okay, so at this point, you should have three different things. You should have Java installed on your system, the iris installer.jar file, and also the Solash shaders right over here. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to right click on the iris installer.jar file, then go ahead and select on open with. Now, if you download a Java on your system, like I previously mentioned, then you should see this option that says Java TM platform SE binary. And all you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on it just like so. Then it is going to open up a menu that looks like this. Over here, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and select on the Minecraft version you are working with. Remember, throughout this entire process, we're working with 1.21.11. So I'm going to go ahead and select on that. Then I'm going to go ahead and press on install. Once it says completed, go ahead and close out of the Iris installer and then from there, open up the Minecraft launcher. All right, guys, once you're in the Minecraft launcher, what you want to do is you want to go to the top menu and press on installations right over here. Now, over here where it says versions, please double check that the box that says modded is turned on because this is technically considered a modded version of Minecraft. Afterwards, you should see Iris and Sodium in this list right over here. And once you see it, all you want to do is you want to go to the right of it and press on the open installations folder icon just like so. You're then going to get a bunch of folders that look like this, but do not worry. All you want to do is you want to go ahead and scroll down until you find the folder called shader packs right over here. So yep, here it is. And what you want to do is you want to open up the shader packs folder and then from there, minimize the Minecraft launcher. And all you want to do is you want to drag and drop the Solash shader inside of the shader packs folder, just like so. Once it is inside the shader packs folder, you can go ahead and close out of the shader packs folder, then open up the Minecraft launcher, go ahead and locate Iris and Sodium. Then go ahead and press on play just like so. 
Now, all you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and patiently wait for Minecraft to load in. All right, guys. So here you are, Minecraft Java Edition. From here, all you want to do is you want to load into any Minecraft world. All right, so here we are in our Minecraft world. Now, in order to activate the share, here's what you need to do. Go ahead and press on the escape key on your keyboard, and then go ahead and press on options. From there, please select on video settings. You will then notice that we're gonna get this brand new menu over here, and all you wanna do is you wanna go to the left side, then scroll down until you see the section that says iris, and then go ahead and select on shader packs. You should then see the solar shader will be right over here. All you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and select on the solar shader, then go ahead and press on apply just like so. And it may take a little while for your game to actually apply the shader. So please go ahead and be patient. And then there you go. Once it is done, all you want to do is you want to press on done, 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 and then back to the game. And then from here, you're able to tell that we now have the Solash shader installed on our system. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we are trying to reach 400,000 subscribers. See you later, French fries.